o ariabo Oopa, oopa. Come on, Jogger Benito, indeed. How are we doing, everyone? Sam here, United People's TV, and I'm here to bring you the news from Manchester United that we have announced the agreement to sign Anthony Jogger Benito. Yes, please. Casemiro, tick. Fred, tick. Anthony, tick. Triple threat. Manchester United, we've reached the agreement. Let's read the news. Let's react to it. Let's be a look, man. I'm excited. You know I'm excited. Everybody has every single right to be extremely excited about this signing. Manchester United has reached an agreement with Ajax for the transfer of Anthony subject to a medical player terms being finalised and international clearance. We all know he's already passed that medical. That's been done. I was kind of expecting it to be the official unveiling, but United have announced the deal is done today. Maybe the, uh, the official unveiling will happen tomorrow, maybe later on today. Who knows? But this is the news that's breaking now. Uh, we don't need to know how many goals he scored. Interestingly enough, let's go over to the Ajax announcement and see what they've announced as average. I actually haven't read this yet. Ajax and, Anthony, Ajax and Manchester United have reached an agreement about the Anthony transfer. The transfer is subject to medical and contractual details of both clubs and player. The winger is under contract at Ajax, blah, blah, blah. Ajax have agreed a fee of 95 million euros, including add-ons. The fee could rise to 100 million euros. Sorry, not pounds. Um, we don't need to know anything else down there. Yeah, 100 million euros. That's the price that has been put on the agreement, which is now official. Ah, isn't it a nice feeling when it actually gets made official? You kind of wait and you wait and you wait, and now it's done. But that's the big news, man. Man United have officially confirmed that it's complete. Now, hold your horses here. You're not, don't get too excited. I don't think we will be seeing Anthony in the team to face Leicester on Thursday. James Ducker here from The Telegraph saying that the Anthony deal is agreed, but he won't be available for the Leicester game because of that visa issue. As I said before, it affected the Martinez situation, how long it took to announce him. Well, not announce him, but announce the actual deal and unveil him and use him as a player. Uh, it didn't really affect the Casemiro deal too much, but it is going to affect this Anthony situation. But it's because it's happened quickly. The deal got agreed. We've got the here we go on Sunday. We're here on Tuesday, officially announcing the agreement has been done. And now we're just waiting for him to be unveiled. And I tell you what, I think Anthony is just as excited about this transfer as Manchester United fans are. We, I ran through this in the uh, the live stream this morning. This is a video that was leaked from him arriving for his medical at Ma at Carrington. Look, look at him, man! Like the smile on his face, the beaming smile. Look, he's he has pushed and pushed and pushed for this transfer to happen. Anthony basically went on strike. He put in an official transfer request. He had an interview with Fabrizio Romano. The, the, the kid could not have done any more to make sure that this happened. And this is a man I'm excited about it. You know, in the same way that uh, for, uh, Ronaldo refers to Fergie as his father figure, that, that coach who helped him adapt to the idea of being a superstar and understand it and guided him through it. I imagine that's the same sort of relationship that Anthony has with Eric Ten Hag. Because Anthony came to Ajax from Sao Paulo, from Brazil to Holland, and Eric Ten Hag was the manager who helped him through that who helped turn him from that burgeoning talent into a fully-fledged star. And now they're being reunited at Manchester United. And I, look, I think just everybody involved, apart from Ajax and Ajax fans, are excited. Uh, no, fair play to them. Uh, not fair play, I don't know why I said that. But, you know, it is what it is. You got the player, you got the money that you wanted, we got the player that we wanted. Uh, and that's how football works. Uh, I don't mean that. In a, I, don't, I know that comes across in a disrespectful sort of way, but I don't mean it to be. Uh, I wish Ajax the best of luck in spending the money that they've now got to replace uh, Anthony and move on. And no doubt that their team will improve over the next few years because of that extra money. But Anthony wanted this move to Manchester United. Ten Hag wanted him here. And I can't wait to see how this, how this relationship develops and how Anthony can develop into what I feel could be a genuinely top-level, world-class star. He already is that top-level star. That's why we've just paid 100 million euros to sign him. Whether he can become that world-class star will absolutely depend on Eric Ten Hag, on his coaching, on how quickly he adapts to the club, X, Y, Z. But this is the news that we've been waiting for, right? This is a, the third biggest signing that the club has ever made behind um, Paul Pogba and Harry Maguire. And I hope it works out a little bit better than both of those. But Man United have announced that that agreement has been reached. As I said, the, med the medical's already passed. 
the player terms, they've already been agreed a long time ago. I think the personal terms on Anthony were agreed like two-ish weeks ago. I mean, personal terms, he was, he was be he, well, not begging, but he was doing every, <laughs> he wanted this move. His personal terms were not going to be an issue. And as Ajax have confirmed here on their official announcement of the deal, it's going to be 100 million euros. Now, you can let me know what you think about that in the comments below. How much do you feel that's going to play on Anthony's mind? Do you think it's going to, I suppose you, we won't know that really until we watch him in action. There's no doubt that uh, everybody around the world that aren't United fans, they're going to want Anthony to fail, no doubt. And he's going to have to be able to absorb that pressure. It won't come on Thursday because he won't be registered in time. But I tell you what, what a game to make his debut. We're going to see Anthony line up for Manchester United against Arsenal at Old Trafford. Arsenal looking like a bit of a different beast this year. Not a joke anymore. And I don't think United are a joke anymore. It's the one thing I wanted from this season. If I was to say one... Like, not, it's not the one thing I wanted. My standards are a little bit higher than that. But the one thing I think, as fans, we were right, we, we should be able to demand that these players aren't a joke anymore. They stopped putting in the sorts of performances that see us getting pumped 4 5 nil by Liverpool last year by our biggest rivals and just the, the hu pure humiliation of it. I couldn't take any more. First couple of games of the season, it didn't exactly work out well. But I tell you what, one thing that's going to absolutely change straight away, let's bring the tactics board up here, and I'm going to do a separate video on this, no doubt whatsoever. But Anthony coming into this team just adds so much. I've, I've got this team up here because this is what I've put down as my predicted 11 uh, for the game against uh, Leicester coming up. But Anthony, right, let's bring him down here. Anthony, adding him into the team. Hell yeah, come on then. Anthony, down there, baby. He is going to add creativity in abundance. That's what we massively, massively lack up front. When it works, it works. When the ball goes over the top and it works, it works. When the space in behind, it works. When it doesn't and we fight, sometimes we face a low block, we, we do struggle. As a team, we massively struggle. That's where this man is going to come in and add that Jogga Benito. Add that sprinkling of stardust quality sort of player who can take a player on skip past him go to the edge of the shot edge of the box like i am robin sometimes find a goal why not <sighs> i'm just happy man i'm happy no i'm not happy at the i have to keep i always i always feel like i have to temper my excitement just in case people get offended that i'm excited about manchester united making an absolutely sensational signing it doesn't take away from my energy against the Glazers in any way, shape or form. But it's good to see United here. But we've somehow moved on from 7 million for Arnautovic and 15 million for Rabiot and 85 million pounds we paid now for Anthony. And what, 65 for Casemiro. Hmm. Where's that money come from? Why wasn't it there in the first place? But United f finally announcing that agreement has been reached is big news. I imagine this is the last signing we're making. Sorry, that's no offence to Martin Dubravka. But in terms of big signings that are going to change the quality of our starting eleven, Anthony comes in and that is the fifth major signing. We've got uh, Ericsson, we've got, of course, it was a free, uh, Malasia, Martinez, Casemiro and Anthony. We've had a hell of a summer in terms of the players that have come in. Overall, in terms of the scope of the summer, there's so much more to improve. And when the summer is over, I will analyze and assess all of that. Don't you worry about that here on United People's TV. I will cover that in severe, de severe detail. Well, some of it has been quite severe. But the big news today, with a big smile on my face and a jog of Benito, we have reached that agreement for Anthony. Ajax have confirmed that that is for 95 million euros with an add-on that could take it to 100 million euros and i think i've been i've read that that's going to be quite an easy add-on so i imagine it will be 100 million in total uh manchester united saying look uh, it's subject to a medical which we know is already passed player terms have already been finalized that's not an issue international clearance that's the issue it's the working visa as soon as that working visa is done we will see anthony in a manchester united shirt and we will see a very happy manager a very happy player at getting reunited Manchester United now if that doesn't put a smile on your face I don't know what will I ran through the tactics there a little bit Anthony's going to add a real edge of creativity but look I can't wait to see him starting for Manchester United I can't wait to see him playing in the United shirt but Casemiro and Anthony Jogger Benito indeed come on baby